Hi, everybody. I wasn't going to film it just because... I don't know. Just, just because... But I decided, well, maybe I will. Now that I got the hard part done, at least I think it's the hard part. I'm putting together this Wathers 90-foot uh, girder bridge from Wathers. And uh, I'm going to tell you what's challenging here. I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm just going to let the glue set up a little bit longer while I got these weights on there. But you know, let me take these off. Now, putting those pieces right there, them little inside pieces, there's seven of them. And lining them all up is just, just fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> I'm saying that very sarcastically. Uh, I uh, thought I got this bright idea for a second to take this clamp and was going to clamp it together right in here. Well, I broke that one, this piece right here, in half. <laughs> which I glued back together. And it's in there and it looks kind of funky. It's not even straight. But you know what? The truth of the matter is... Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Right here. This is going to sit on top of there like so <laughs> and you ain't going to see it anyhow <laughs> I mean even looking straight down on it you're not going to see it you know the other way you're going to see it is if you're laying down and got a camera shot underneath this girder you know what the chances of that is <laughs> so also uh, I'd already took this stuff out and I spray painted it with a flat black so it is all painted it's not a very hard model to put together other than these little girders on the inside now I have a bunch of little pieces here I have to put some end caps on and some caps for oh, some end caps some end caps on and then there's some caps for the legs uh, feet for it to sit on on the embutments and there's a little uh, fence there to go around the the uh, little catwalk here on the side yeah for there other than that this thing's about done so uh I thought it would be a little little tougher than this, but it's not. Uh, I did notice... Uh, let me come back here after I get a tripod to set this phone on. Okay. Alright, we're back. Now, I'm getting back to it now. That's, I've just got this setting on here. But I've already noticed, and this is before I even started, because I was reading the instructions... All right, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just throw them in the garbage because that's about what they are. They don't help you a bit, very little. Anyhow, uh, well, I guess I gotta set the track on the end. Let me get a get a uh, pencil here. I guess I have to set a track so it has to sit on the inside of these two rails right here. All right. No, it don't fit. It's just a tad too big. Now I start reading the instruction. They want you to buy uh, a what they call a bridge track to go across this bridge, and you got to buy a ninety. Their ninety foot scale, scale ninety foot one to go across that. Do you know what they want for a piece of track? One piece of track. It ain't a switch. It ain't nothing fancy. One piece of track that's supposed to fit on that bridge. Just take a wild guess. It's almost $30. You know, from Walters. I'm like, they're nuts. You know, I'm going, don't you? I am going to take a piece of flex track 
and I'm going to sand the edges of the ties and it's going to fit right inside there. I will sand them and, and if that don't work I'll take another piece of flex track and I'll go up to my son's who has saws and I will just shave just a little bit off of it. <laughs> One way or the other I'm going to make this work and I'm not spending $30 on a hunk of track. A hunk of straight track. That's a bunch of crap. Just a, it just, boy, did it infuriate me. <laughs> it really made me mad when I seen that. So, I got my rant in. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I will be back when I get it all put together here. I, uh, and I'll show you what it looks like uh, put together. Uh, I plan on weathering this a little. Uh, and I, I'd like to decal it up or, or, or yeah, decal it of uh, uh, some sort and uh, on the front here. And I'd love to put Indian Head Valley across that. That'd be cool. So, that's plans. We'll get back to you when you see it. But, uh, that's just how she's coming along right now. It's holding together pretty decent. So, I hope, I, I, like I said, this was a, a gift, so I have no idea what it costs. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> but, I'll, I'll be back in a little. Alright. There we are. We got her put together. As you can see. You see what I did here? I want to get you guys' opinion on something here. On this track. Alright. What I did is I took a piece of flex track. And this is just a piece of that old stuff brass that I had around. Just that way if I mess it up I ain't hurt none. What I did is I just trimmed a little off this this side right here, so that it'll fit. It will fit right in between this rail and this rail. You can see what I mean. But I don't know. I don't like the way that looks. Now what I could do is I could take a piece of flex track. Let me let me again. Put this on the thing here. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I don't know. I think that. I don't know. I don't like the way that looks on there like that. Well, like what I could do is I could take a flex track and cut all the ties out of it and leave a couple on this end, and I could lay the rails down in there. There is. If you, I don't know if you can see down in here or not. There are little buttons down here to kind of hold the rail in. And you could. But what would you glue the, the rail down? What would you glue the rail to this with? There wouldn't be no putting spikes in. So what would you glue the rail to the to the plastic to it with? That's a good question for you. See if you guys can answer that for me. Otherwise, this build is done. Uh, thanks for joining me. May the Lord bless you. And keep you. And guide you in everything that you do. Uh, and uh, please answer my question. <laughs> What do you think on the, the, the idea with the uh, flex track? And I, I do have a gauge here to keep the, the thing engaged. And uh, what would you glue it to the what would you glue it to this plastic with? Uh, I don't know if super glue would hurt work. I, I don't know. I'd have to glue something onto it, you know what I mean? So Open to suggestions. Be looking forward to your answers. Thanks. Love you guys.